Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to have a brief look at the new theme that's coming into Firefox. So I think it might be, I don't know, 87, 88, somewhere around there. We're going to get a new the uh, Firefox. And uh, this new theme is called Proton. And I think some of you are probably going to love it. Some of you are going to hate it. Some of you, it's Firefox. So we're going to do whatever we do to Firefox. And, uh, of course, Firefox is still one of the better browsers, although they are going insane right now, causing them to fall down upon the rankings of good web browsers. But at the same time, browsers are like presidential candidates. You don't look for a good one. You just look for one you can tolerate. And so with that, we want to have a brief look at this. So OMG Ubuntu is featuring some of the changes as this is going about. And if you would like to try this out on your version of Firefox, you might be able to um, make it work. I have followed this before on some distributions and have not gotten into work on 85. Today I'm using Solace which is shipping right now with Firefox 86 and everything in this is working. I'll have this linked in the description. It just goes through a little bit of the change, how the uh, how the the UI is changing. So they have a new hamburger menu is purely text based, no icons at all. And uh, they have the new tab page with improved layout, more customization options, new info box to make in app notifications more eye catching. Why would you even want in app notifications is beyond me, but I guess, hey, subscribe and hit the the uh, notification button to be notified when we release a new video, I guess. I don't know, all right? Uh, and then they have the new tool toolbar with fewer icons, things like that. Uh, I'll reserve my opinions until we, we have a brief look at it here, but they kind of walk you through how you can go ahead and do that. So in the about config, what I did is I'm actually spinning this up on a uh, virtual machine here. So let's just go ahead without any further ado and have a look over here. So again, this is on Solace where I am looking at this and I've already made all of the changes. It's just copy and paste the things from the OMG Ubuntu into your about config and you can get a chance to look at it. So basically uh, what we're looking at here right out of the box, you can kind of see how the tabs are. They're all, all just floating bubbles. So that's kind of the modern UI theme with floating bubbles in this ungodly huge bar, URL bar that I completely hate. But oh well, I guess it's here to stay. Under my options menu, my image here is a little bit different. I think this might just be something they've changed. We have a new window here, which actually gives us uh, that I thought I'd gotten a new tab from that before as well. Uh, you can hit your um, hit your library here. This is where you have bookmarks. We have pocket list, history, uh, downloads, synced tabs. So basically, they're integrating all this syncing crap inside of it. Then we have recent uh, recent um, items there. I'm not sure why we're getting this popping up. I had gotten the first one originally as a new tab. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um, but anyway, I maybe there's an error in the current build of it where we're not getting the new tab and new window option. This is a work in progress, so be aware of that. But here's our basic layout of the new tab page. We can search. Of course, Solace uses Google by default, so we have the Google icon there. Here's we have our sponsored links up here. So, you know, if you turn on the, you can turn this off, but hey, you can be have the sponsored links and show the Amazon and the eBay showing up. Then we have the other links you can put in. Of course, they put the Solace link in there. Um, yeah, that was a website client I was working on. We had some issues with that. So I tested it out in this VM earlier. And uh, here's their pocket recommendations stuff like that and then you know some recent activity stuff we can hit the personalize button and this is kind of where we're getting you know these new uis um, the sites you save or visit we can turn those on turn those off we can turn off just the sponsored so we if you want to keep the tabs that you visited and uh, just keep the sponsored off you can do that you can split this into two rows if you want there's recommended by pocket, there's sponsored stories, things that they're getting paid to show you. 
and then you can turn off pocket altogether there and then of course recent activity you can turn it on turn it off as well can enable the snippets it looks like that may not be doing anything quite yet and then manage more settings kind of pretty much just gets us back to what we currently had although i'm sure this will probably change here a little bit as well so here's your sync privacy options Here's, I've probably already disabled the HTTPS only mode because I'm not a big fan of it. You can enable it in all windows or you can enable HTTPS mode in private windows only. That is a really nice setting. I actually do kind of like that setting. So that looks like they have made some changes uh, recently. Um, so that will allow you to break out of your firewall if you are uh, on um, uh, if you're on a on a good secure network you can have um, don't enable it at all you can enable it only in private mode or you can enable it in all windows so that's uh, that's actually a, a nice thing moving in the right direction there you go so everything else in here is going to be pretty much the same. Of course, here you can turn on, turn these guys off as well. You can show the sponsor, disable the sponsored on each of these guys here. And let's go ahead. Where's the search functions? So we can go ahead and switch this back to how, how I liked it. I didn't see the way to get back in that. We'll see if we can find that in a second here. Here's your default. Uh, well, I prefer start page, I guess, but we'll go to DuckDuckGo right now. And with that, now you can see that we have DuckDuckGo as our default. So that looks good. Yeah, the one thing I'm not seeing here is the option to customize. Hopefully they're not killing that option uh, unless I'm just missing it here. Because I hate these spacers they put in here. It's the most useless crap ever. I want to get rid of those. I want to be able to toggle and change what is up here but again on the the screenshots that we had from omg ubuntu all that stuff should still be on that menu there as well let's go ahead and um pull that guy back up so let's see here's settings oh lord are they getting rid of the ability to customize that <laughs> lord Let's make it more user friendly so we can't have our setups the way we want because we think people are going to get too confused choosing which add-ons to go where, I guess. I don't know. Um, but again, there's um, uh, hopefully we can still adjust that. Hopefully that's just something that is out of place here just temporarily. Let's uh, do, is it about add-ons, I think? So there's where we can do that. And I don't know this one, but let's give customize a try. Nope, can't do that one. So, oh, well, hopefully they fix that later. <laughs> All right, what are my thoughts on this? I personally, I'm a little indifferent. Uh, I don't really care. I'm not a huge fan of everything going to these, these big, cute, bubbly type things. Uh, I don't really care one way or the other, though. Eh, UI is not always enough to get me to uh, to change things, to quit using things. Uh, I don't care. I could take this or leave this. I'm trying to remember exactly how I got back into the settings again. <laughs> it moved on me. All right, so as far as these guys here, uh, I'm fairly indifferent on these bubbles, uh, it's not my preference. I don't really, but at the same time, I don't really care. I think this does bring it into a much more modern look. So I guess that's probably a good thing. Is it a, a deal breaker one way or the other? No, not really. Is this a big deal of a change? No, not really. I hope that they don't just try and make it super duper ultra user friendly, so user friendly that we are going to prevent you from doing the things that you want to do. Uh, of course, if you if you guys uh, saw the video I did on Saturday, I talked about why I switched to Linux, how uh, mostly it was because Windows kept on taking over my system, that kept on trying to decide for me what... I should do with my computer rather than letting me do it. And if indeed they're pulling out options, making it harder to do things, make it more difficult to customize, 
that is kind of a problematic thing. And uh, as long as the as long as all of the features and functions stay intact, I'm fine with this change. But as they start taking things out to make it more user friendly, at that point in time, they're going to lose me as if Firefox hasn't already kind of lost me anyway. But at the same time, there's not a really any better options. Will I continue to use it? Sure. Uh, for the things that I use it for. I don't use it for everything. It's certainly not my default browser anymore. But at the same time, if they start making, they pull out options like customizations, that starts to become a deal breaker for me. Again, are they doing that? I haven't seen that here, but this is a work in progress. It's probably something they just haven't added to the new UI layout yet. So uh, that's really the one thing I saw here in this that was more problematic. Everything else, yeah, it's fine. I don't really care. But just so you guys know, Firefox is going to be changing the theme soon. If you want to play around with this some more, go ahead and follow the OMG Ubuntu article that we have linked in the description here. That will walk you through how you can set up your own Firefox to do all this. And that way you can have a chance to look at it, preview it, and maybe test it and give them some extra feedback on your own. So with that, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.